After the battery is installed on site, the first step is to open the battery terminal cover. Then use a torque wrench to loosen the screws of the battery poles. After the gap can insert the battery measuring cable, we get the battery measuring cable. Black cable connects the negative pole, red cable connects the positive pole. The terminal of the measuring cable is installed between the gasket and battery measuring cable. The direction is fixed to the wire direction to the suitable place. Then tighten the screws with the torque wrench. When hearing the sound like this, it means it's screwed up. Stick the 3M adhesive to the back of the battery cell sensor. Connect the RJ11 terminal to the battery cell sensor. Peel the 3M adhesive. Stick to any side of the battery. Paste and press for 10 seconds. Tie the battery measuring cable with cable ties to keep neat and tidy. Connect the communication line between the battery cell sensor. Connect the out port of the first cell to the in port of the second cell. The right side of the cell sensor is out port. Connect the in port of the next battery on the left side. The in port of the first battery is the main communication line, which is connected to the master. The out port of the second battery, which is connected to the in port of the third cell sensor. All the battery cell sensor are hand in hand connected. Connect the RS485 port to PBAT Gate Intelligent Gateway. Connect the RJ11 COM port to the first cell sensor in port. Each COM port can connect max 60 cell sensors. This port connects to the 24 volts power supply. Connect the hall sensor port to the corresponding hall sensor. Install the hall sensor according to the current direction. This port connects to the 24 volts power supply, then the RS485A port connects to the PBAT 600 Pro battery string sensor RS485 port. RS485A is defined as the first string. RS485B is defined as the second string, while the RS485C is for the third string. RS485D is for the fourth string. Connect the LAN port to the computer then PBAT gate is wired ready. Click, Open Network and Internet Settings, of your computer. Then click, Ethernet, Change Adapter Options. Click, Properties, Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP, IPv4. Modify any IP address. Then click, OK. Yes. Enter the default IP address. The default IP address is on the side label of the PBAT gate. Access view in web page from PBAT gate by entering account and password.